Hello? Hello, friends! I know, it has been a very long time, aka a few days. Hello, hello! I am terribly sorry that I didn't go live yesterday. Your girl had a very, very rough health emergency. Um, my day did not go the way that I anticipated. I was shooting for the Barbie movie. Not like for the Barbie movie, but like I was making like a Barbie, I was having a Barbie photo shoot. Um, and it didn't go how I wanted it to. Not really happy with the results. But then when I got inside and I was like winding down, I looked in my mirror and I had a dent in my eyeball. Like an actual dent. And I couldn't get on call with my optometrist and so I spent the day pretty much like, I wouldn't say panicking, but like avoiding my problems. Um, spoke to the optometrist today though. Um, apparently, like I'm okay. I'm like severely dehydrated and the eye drops that I've been using for the last week have been fucking up my eyes. Um, they're expiring next month. So they're like, yeah, no, just toss that. Do not use those. And so we're gonna see what happens. The eye has already like puffed back up like it's normal now but my eyeball it literally looked like you know when you get like bubble wrap and you like but you like pu push your nail into it or not bubble wrap like like cookie dough cookie dough or play-doh and you put your like a fingernail in it and it has like a little crevice that's basically what happened to my eye but like more like a you know like a caved in thing yeah i hated it it was really unsettling my health anxiety was through the roof yesterday um and i couldn't really focus on anything but that hello ashley i am feeling better much better but i don't know if you can hear it um <clears throat> i'm feeling better but i have so much like mucus stuck like right there and I hate it I need to like you know but I can't get it out I cannot Jamie hello perfect perfect calm hello d10 hello Tayo hello Howie hello dissatisfied also hello hello Lockhart nice to see you again and Rebels also nice to see you again sounds like something out of a horror movie it felt like it was out of a horror movie I've done minor surgery on my own hand but the second thing happened to my eye I was straight up in the hospital I things are what is this emoji or emote yeah no i any issue that comes with your eyes terrifies me eyes and mouth oh my god and my gums were also inflamed like i was just not having it hello jar jar what's up jar jar jaden obsessed how are you i'm glad you're feeling better aside from the eye dent thank you yeah i am feeling better i could be better you know i I'm definitely like operating at low capacity today not feeling the greatest but you know it is what it is I'm here and that's what's important no it really was not my day the world has it out for me I feel like I can't catch a break I feel like there's always something wrong you know always a problem How's Granny doing today? Am I Granny? Ronnie, thank you for the eight month reset. How are you? Uh, so, I got access back to my fan house account yesterday. I'm so happy. I have access to my fan house account, but here's the sad news. I am gonna be shutting it down. <coughs> oh my God. <laughs> the fucking the phlegm um yeah so my fan house is gonna be shutting down and i am moving everything to fansly i have already set it up properly i have to i still have to make a few more changes but my fansly will be five dollars for the next month that way anyone transferring over from fan house gets a nice little discount any newbies get a little discount it's just a whopping five dollars five usd um, and that gives you like base access to my to my profile There's mostly a lot of like photos on there. I haven't really done any big blogging yet But starting today I will be we're gonna be treating fansly like a blog. It's gonna have a combination of 
of a... Wow! Thank you for the five dollars presently, I appreciate it! Keep being a present to all of us and feel better, Syrah. Also from presently underscore here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I will do- I will do my best to continue being a present. Thank you. Um, but, yeah, so, for the base price, for the ten dollar sub, you'll get access to- Ah, oh, my tooth. Not my tooth. You'll get access to blog style posts, selfies, videos of my dog, videos of me, um, and then for the higher rated um, tier, you will be able to um, to purchase some zestier content. All of the content on on my Fansly is safe for work, or at least moving forward, it will be safe for work. There's nothing on there that is going to be, you know, a little ha ha hoo hoo. And uh, yeah, yeah. I don't even know if I'm like, am I allowed to promote this on on Twitch, or should I just save it for like a Twitter promo? Can we get a little zesty in here. We getting a little zesty. Username was supposed to be Sarah is a present. You should change your username. You should change your Twitch username to Sarah is a present. I'm disappointed that it's not. Hello, cake is a made up drug. I like Fansly. Fansly is a good platform. I've been on Fansly since they um. Since it started, and their customer service has always been very, very good. Incredible. The only way I was able to get access to my fan house was by talking to the CEO. Like, that's how bad it was. I waited so long, their team could not assist me, and so I had to, like, take matters up with the CEO. And thankfully, CEO got shit done. She went to town. Bada bing, bada boom, you know? Oh my god. Chat. <coughs> These boogers are so bad. Oh my god. I feel like. I feel like. I need to go and like. Hawk a loogie, you know? Thank you for a 37 month reason of Animaniac. I appreciate it. I moved to Fansly because I got annoyed with how broken and unstable uh, Pony Flans is. Yeah. That platform is not good. I don't like the creators, not not the creators on it, but the creators of that platform. Um, it's not a healthy environment. I think what is super important with platforms is a team that is super um, communicative with their creators, not just the customers, but like with the people making the money, which is ironic with Twitch because Twitch is not good at that at all. That's their weakness. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. It just, it is what it is. That's why I liked Fan House because they always seemed very hands-on up until this moment with me and my account. And I'm very confident moving forward without them. Hello, Mr. T, how are you? This is a shame that you have to jump through so many hoops before you're able to get back into your fan house. Oh no, it's terrible. It is truly, truly terrible. <laughs> An awful experience. Thank you for the 420 biddies. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Blaze it, baby. Fiol, hello, hello. It's nice to see you. But yeah, I should not have had to go like so deep into like talking to the CEO just to get access back to my account. Like that's ridiculous. That's honestly ridiculous. It should not have been that difficult. But again. It is what it is. Wow! Mr. T, thank you for the 420 biddies as well. I appreciate it. Thank you. Is this a trend? Am I going to be collecting 420 biddies? I'm here for it. I am absolutely here for it. Do you upload the same content to all those platforms? Um, Fansly gets more of the um, higher end content. Fanhouse did not. But now that I'm closing down my Fanhouse, all, all of the type of content that I had on my Fanhouse selfies, dog videos, dog photos, um, little blogs, those are all gonna go onto my Fansly. So Fansly is gonna have a little bit of everything. It's gonna be like a diary to an extent where you can also buy like photo shoots and content off of me. 
Because everything happens for a reason. Maybe it's just time to move on to greener pastures. Maybe. It's ironic though because I actually wanted to shut down my fans leave and move to fan house full time. And now I'm doing the opposite, which has been... I, I don't want to call it traumatizing, but it, it definitely threw me into kind of a whirlwind because I, like, that's not, that, that's not the plan that I had. You know, like, I don't know. That, that's a conversation for another day. Or maybe today is the day. I don't know. <laughs> 420 is the best number? I don't know. 69 is also pretty good. 666 is a favorite as well. Yeah, we're talking about uh, Fan House Veal. Ooh. Why is my phone blowing up? What about 69420? Are you gonna send me 69,420 bits presently here? Because if so, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> 69420 is a pretty good number too. I can't actually deny that. I can't. 69, 69, 69 is also pretty good too. <laughs> I'm very excited. Today we're finally gonna be diving back into Final Fantasy 16. I have been waiting to play this game some more. I was looking forward to playing it a little bit yesterday, but, you know, shit happens. So today, we're gonna grind it out. Probably play for most of the evening. Hello, Antoine Bell! I am doing... I'm doing well. I'm doing good. I'm doing better than before, which is important. Oh my god, but... My boogers? That... Give me one second. I need to... I need to clear up these boogies, okay? I like, I can feel it in my fucking throat. It's so bad. Okay. Okay. I have returned. I'm gonna take this off. I'm getting a little toasty. I have returned. I drank some Buckley's. I boogied out my nose. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be okay now. We shall see. Ugh, but yes, no. Final Fantasy 16, not 14. 
16 is a is a mainline uh, story game, unlike uh, 14, which is the critically acclaimed MMORPG. Anyone say toasty? Hello, Omni. Yes, I'm toasty. I'm getting very toasty. You're sick. Are you sick? I have a cold right now. I think it's going around. Yeah, it is. Everyone is getting sick right now. Everybody is getting sick right now. And I'm not here for it. Like, there's this, like, a new wave of, like, cold in, in Toronto, at least. And I'm a hypochondriac. Like, I don't need this shit. But I'm getting better. Uh, I've been drinking my Buckley's every day. Not saving me. It's going all over. Fuck this cold. It's killing me. How bad is it for you? Like, what are your symptoms, Ashley? Don't blame it on the good times. Blame it on the on the booger. True. Facts. Dentist! Hi, dentist. I am okay. I hope you're well. It's nice to see you. Hello, Promethean. Hello. Lonely, hi. Hello, how are you? <clears throat> oh. I have a question for you, Sarah. I'm aware you're a fan of the Opera Friend. Have you ever seen the movie the musical Fan of the Paradise? I have not. What is that? Is that like a spin-off? The only Final Fantasy game I played all the way through was the Pixel Remaster of FF1. I really enjoyed it though. Hey, listen, this is the second Final Fantasy game I've ever played. I've only played Final Fantasy 14 and then this one. So don't worry. We're about, we're like kind of on the same page then. I would love to play some more of the FF classics, but like, I don't know where to start. What is your necklace? It's just a ring. It's just a ring. It's cute though, yeah? How many stories are you up? Like that is way too up for me. Oh, here? I am above the 30th floor. What would you? Look, I have a baby. I have a baby in here. Look at this pile of mush. Look at this big pile of mush. What's going on, Moogie? Look at him. He literally just looks like mashed potatoes. Oh, no. <gasps> Mom? What da? What da? <laughs> oh, look at him. Hi, baby. Oh, big sigh. Big sigh. Liz! Hi, Liz. How are you? How you doing, Liz? It's nice to see you. I'm finally starting to feel better, barely. It's been since Sunday, last week. I've been congested, coughing so much until my brain hurts, and I'm absolutely exhausted. Yeah, I am basically going through the exact same thing. Extreme exhaustion, extreme headaches, lots of coughing, lots of sneezing, lots of boogers. I'm fighting through it though. Like, I've got my Advil, I've got my, um, I got my Advil and I got my Buckley's, so you know we ball, but like, Jesus. Uh, I have not seen the boys Promethean. Did you get bangs? I did. I cut my, I cut my hair. They're not styled right now. So they're not looking, they're not looking that cute today. I haven't styled them. But yeah, I've got bangs now. <laughs> It's a 70s rock retelling a fan of the opera. It's basically Rocky Horror meets fan of the opera. Ooh, that sounds fun. That sounds really good. I've never seen it, but now I may have to. Haley, hello. It's nice to see you. Welcome to the chat. How are you? Yeah, I hope we all feel better soon. I hope we all get through this plague. Looking like a bombshell as always. Thank you. I try my best. <laughs> Glad you're on the up though. I hope it wasn't as rough on you. It was. Um, I had a moment the other day where I started wheezing, which is not good. Um, uh, because I've had bronchopneumonia before, I am very prone to a lot of issues with my lungs. I I could go to the hospital very quickly and very easily because of my lung um 
my lung issues. And so since I was um since I was wheezing, I was nervous and thankfully my medicine like it kicked in and it helped. But, you know, the second that like if I heard whistling, like you know like have you all ever gotten that where you're so sick that when you breathe, you like on the inhale you can hear a whistle? That is not good. Okay? That is not good at all. Um, but if I heard that I'd have to go to the hospital and thankfully um the medicine beat the shit out of my system and I'm okay now. <laughs> Talking in caps is fine, Liz. Don't worry. I like a good little yell every so often. Dentist, how are you today? It's nice to see you. I've had trouble sleeping all week and high stress, but none of that coughing thing thing unless it was something I inhaled wrong. You know what? Honestly, if you get sick and you're not coughing, that's a dub in my book. I hate coughing. Coughing makes me feel so miserable. Okay, I hate wearing this shirt. I like the the shoulders, like the sleeves are so stretched out that like they don't sit on my body. And so I always feel like I have to pull down my shirt, but then my bra just pops out. I can't win in this. Buckley's for the absolute win? Fuck yeah. I swear by Buckley's. The all complete mucus relief one is so good. I drink it every three hours and then I'm perfectly okay. It's crazy. Hello, Trixie. Good God, you're gorgeous. Thank you. Sorry, I forget sometimes. I'm brain trying to retain divine beauty and all that. You're so sweet. Thank you, Trixie. I am all right. And I hope chat is all right as well. Um, but yeah, it's it's going. It's going. I'm still recovering from um, a really bad cold. Cold. Like flu or whatever. Um, and yeah. My eyeball had a dent in it yesterday, so that was fun. That was really interesting to navigate. Spoke to my optometrist today. I basically am dehydrated, and the eye drops that I was using, which were nearly expired, were drying out and fucking up my eyes. Um, so, here's hoping that my eyeball doesn't get another dent. I find sneezing and coughing so embarrassing for no reason. I know! Every time I cough in public and sneeze, I get so embarrassed because all I can think of is, oh no, everyone's gonna think I have COVID, you know? I used to have bad asthma attacks as a kid and young adult, same. My asthma attacks as a teenager to young adult have been vicious. Thankfully, I don't really get them anymore, which is nice. I've been sick, but I got surgery and they, take, and they took me to the operations room. Oh my God, Promethean. I'm so sorry. I hope you're feeling better now. Your eyebrows are pretty? Thank you. Hello, Brave. I am good. I've just been telling chat that I'm like recovering from being sick and my eyeball had a dent in it. Pogtometrist, baby. Is it lemon? Lem lemonade? LMND? Hello. Some movie trivia. One of the design inspirations for Darth Vader just so happens to be the fan of the, of the paradise. Interesting. I didn't know that. Did you say a dent in your eye? Yes, I literally had a dent in my eye here. Let me see if I can find the photo for y'all. Let me see. <coughs> Let me see. Is it TJ? Hi. Lemonade? Sick. I got it. I was a little off at first, but I got it. Okay. I don't know if this is going to make sense to some of y'all, but we'll try, okay? <coughs> it is TJ. TJ. Yeah. I'm so smart. <coughs> Got some of the mucus out. <laughs> I got some of the mucus out. Dub. Oh. I. Yeah, I don't know how I got a dent in my eye. They're assuming it's from being dehydrated and from, uh, from my shitty eye drops. But okay, 
let me know if y'all can see this, okay? It's a little bit difficult to, to grasp, so bear with me. All right, so you see my vanity lights, right? They make a circle in my eye. But do you see this one right here? It's concave. That is a little like, it's like a little um concave little scoop in my eye. And so the light obviously bends. Yeah. Toss out your fucking eye drops if they're close to expiring. Because they will dry the shit out of your eyes, apparently. And your eyes will, like... If they if they don't, like, puff up, they'll de-puff, basically. And it's funny, too, because, like... I think I told you all this chat, maybe, maybe not. But over the last, like, week, my eyes... Like, not even just because of my cold, but... My eyes have been dry and they've been feeling kind of, like sore and tender and i was wondering if it was because of my eye drops and it was excuse me a friend of yours showed you the stitches on her eyeballs stitches on her eyeballs wait trixie you and tj know each other that's so cute i love that so when someone lovingly looks into your eyes the reflection is upside down yes precisely <laughs> Patty Romance, how are you? Hello, hello. Are the are the seven TV emotes not working on on here? I don't see them. Do y'all see them? Where are my seven TV emotes? What in the heck? I thought I had it installed. Trixie's pretty cute. I am looking and staring. <laughs> happy Friday, happy Friday indeed. One second. <coughs> Let me see my extensions. No, 7 TV is on. My PC just sucks. Love that for me. I got eye drops recommended by my eye doctor and they're nice. I forgot what kind. Ooh, if you remember... Definitely share because I am I'm searching for a new set of eye drops. Natalie, it's nice to see you. Hello. One of my friends was using a different contact solution and it caused the inside of her eyelids to have little bumps on it. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like that. I don't like that. I anything to do with eyeballs, honestly, makes me like. Discovered you last month through the Who E Twitter thing, and I guess I'm still here. But here's to more. The Who E, the Who E Twitter thing. Hello, Chrono Break. I appreciate you still being here. Thank you for the two month reset. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know, it's so funny. Pat a day. Okay. Pat a day. Eye drops. Okay. I'll look into these. Thank you. Um, it's so funny how, like, the stuff with Tristan Tate was, like, supposed to be a whole, like, ah -ha -ha! No one is gonna love you! LOL! You're an e-girl! Ha, ha 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 You're a whore! But my numbers skyrocketed and my bank account has never been happier. <laughs> like, I don't know, bud. I didn't take any L's there. Only doves. Only fucking doves. Play. Play. We love to see it. We love to see a girl boss win. Hello, Monotone Hawk. How you doing? Welcome. I don't even want to know what to think. Do I? Nope. Don't. Oh my god. Honestly, it was like, it was a week long fiasco of me roasting men, basically. I called a dude ugly because he was talking shit about women. And. Yeah, and then Tristan- then I woke up to Tristan Tate calling me pretty. And then I asked him, like, why he wasn't simping for me, and he said it's because I'm not his type. Like, good. I don't want you to traffic me. I don't want to be your type. 
It was so funny. Like, it was genuinely hilarious. I couldn't believe. Like, I couldn't believe what was going on. If you called me ugly, I'd probably have a simil similarly unhinged reaction. You're ugly. How are you, Selassie? I welcome to the stream. How you doing? Chris and Tate took the L with the house arrest. I know, right, Dink? Also, welcome to the stream as well. Hello, Dink. I know, like, how are y'all vouching for the guy who's literally getting, like, charged, um, and, like, accused of, what is it, like, like, sex trafficking or human trafficking and, like, rape or something like that? Like, I don't know what to tell y'all, man. James, how are you? That Pedro Pascal shirt on socials? I need it. Isn't it fucking great? They singled you out because you have a strong voice for women? True. They singled me out because I'm ugly as well, apparently. I still can't believe that. I still can't believe they called me ugly. <laughs> like, like, I posted a picture of myself looking, like, in my eyes really good. Like, I had zero makeup on, my skin was glowing, I looked amazing, and they were like, yeah, you're ugly. Like, what? What? Let me see if I can find the picture. Where is it? Like... That's ugly to you? This is ugly? Are you kidding? <coughs> <coughs> like, what? Don't appreciate nice elbows. I got some pretty zesty elbows right here for you, Ponto. How are you, Ponto? Larry! Not much, Larry. I'm vibing. We're gonna segue into Final Fantasy 16 soon. We're chilling. Oh shit, this guy got suspended. Again. We love to see it. That eyeliner though? What eyeliner? I'm wearing no eyeliner in that picture. I'm not even wearing well, I'm wearing one little wing right now. Thank you for tuning, dentist. A tuning we are a tuning I'm good you queen how you doing I'm okay I am sick I'm sick getting through it living my best life not really but we're hanging in there <laughs> I'm having like one of those days where okay so this is something that I was trying to explain to a friend um, and they just like we're not getting it and maybe some of y'all were get will get it if you're a creative um, but you know when you're not having a good day it's very difficult to create good content it is very hard to stream on twitch or to take photos or to do any kind of creative work because you don't have that inspiration you don't have that like oof you know and so whenever yeah and so whenever my mood falters i cannot work and they were like all like you just, like, you play video games and, and talk to a camera. It's like, no. Every streamer, what we do is literally, like, it's like stand-up comedy. It's improv. You know, we're putting on a performance. We're putting on a show. And if you're not in a good mood, a lot of the time, depending on the person, depending on the mood, you're not going to be able to perform. And now combine feeling physically unwell with being mentally unwell. How are you gonna, like, how am I supposed to thrive right now, you know? It's a, it's a rough cycle. And I'm trying really hard to, like, break it. Because even when I'm having bad days, I still want to work, you know? But then, you know, I have these bad days and I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But I'll have a bad day and... And, like, every little thing will, I'll, like, beat myself up on, you know? Like, oh, like, low view count. Or, oh, didn't get a lot of subs. Or, oh, my tweets didn't do so well. And I will take it as a direct hit on myself. When, in reality, you're gonna have slow days. But, like, I can't, like, rationalize that. Like, I, you know, it's, it's not, like... It's not sitting in the noggin the way that it should be. Someone said being a girl on Twitter is the same as going to war. No, they're right. It is. I am a soldier. Straight men just don't even like women. Haley, that's so true. Straight men don't like women. They don't. 
they don't. They want their manic pixie dream girl and that's it. Living in a society feels like putting on a performance at times. Absolutely. No, absolutely. We're all putting on a show. How are you supposed to entertain people if you need to put in so much energy to take care of yourself? It's just impossible to do it all and you have to come first. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know. I think some people just don't get it and that's fine. And that's fine. Not everyone has to get it. There is a lot of privilege that comes with being able to do this for a living, to be, you know, a Twitch streamer and whatever, to be able to take these days off. But like, you know, like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Part of why I tip and gifts is to try to alleviate that so the down days aren't so bad for you, dentist. Can we all just give dentists like a little head pat? Or like a little smooch or a little something something honestly I appreciate you so much because you go above and beyond for the sake of going above and beyond just to like help me out and make me feel good and that's crazy man like I I don't know what I done to deserve that kind of love and care but like you are so good to me and i am eternally grateful and honestly hold on i don't know why i haven't fucking done this for you yet oh my god dentist you're sexy now show us how sexy you are <laughs> showcase how sexy you are come on <laughs> you're a diamond Shine bright like a diamond, babe. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> You're VIP now, yes. Very important penis. Basic science tutor, hello, hello, how are you? Hello. I want to start doing movie nights again in the server. How do we feel about that? What if we started doing movie nights again, like, every other Tuesday or at the beginning of, like, or end of each month? Hello, Lucas! How are you? Hi, hi, hi! Dubs for dentist. Dubs for dentist. My pee, pee shines more golden out. I'm so happy for you, dentist. I'm so glad that it's shining. You may want to get- you may- you may want to get that checked out, but, like, at your own leisure, at your own pace. I honestly thought your name was Dentist Mum. I really should learn to read better. <laughs> I'm his mom. I'm mummy now. I love movie nights. Me too. I miss hanging out with everybody. Like, I'm kind of sad because I took a really big break from, from streaming and I could feel the weight of it in the community, you know? And that makes me really sad. It makes me really sad. Like, I feel like I need to, like, rebuild, um, rebuild our community and that kind of, like, breaks my heart a bit. But that's what happens when you take breaks from work. I got these bits to donate to someone but their stream had, like, 90% of the English dissertonary blocked so I couldn't say anything so here you go smile. Thank you. Thank you for the 245 bits. I'm glad I could be your your bit dumpster. <laughs> I can be, chat, I can be your bit dumpster. Give me your unwanted bits. I'm sorry that everything was basically getting blocked. I'm glad that you were able to say something here. <laughs> Mommy, sorry. Also, thank you for retweeting that turtle submarine scene. It made my entire day. Oh my god, we're not that kind of sub. It fucking killed me. I love when movies and shows like throw in jokes for the adults because like given the context, it's like this is like a children's show. This is amazing. You know, I, I love that shit. I played a bit of Final Fantasy 16 earlier. I'm up to level 22. I think I'm like level 16 or 18. I'm still baby. I have a feeling Mamatist will be jealous to find out Sire is my mommy now, or maybe she'll be happy. Maybe maybe she supports me and my mommy edge. Pee pee poo poo, pee pee poo. Pee pee poo poo, pee pee poo. 
I love me some pee-pee and I love me some poo. It wasn't even a bad message either. That's what makes it kind of funnier then. But hey, like I said, I'll take all your unwanted biddies. Don't worry. I'm the biddy dumpster, okay? Matt, thank you for the two-month resub with your prime. I appreciate it. Welcome back to the coven. I hope you're about your months on your stay. Thank you. I just want to let you know I have you streaming on my TV while I'm cleaning. It is everything. It's like cleaning with friends. Oh my god, Ashley. Listen, when I tell you, whenever I need to clean, I literally will open up my friend's streams and I will pop that shit on the TV or I'll like blast it through my speakers. It is so satisfying. It's like having a little podcast that's like interactive. It's like hanging out with friends. It's so nice. I'm glad I'm not the only one that does this. I beat 16 a few weeks ago, so I look forward to seeing how others fare with it. Well, I'm excited to see how I fare with it. <laughs> we just got Clive's slutty little outfit, and the, the fucking, like, the ties are, like, holding on for their dear life, and I love it. I was watching the German VA for Clive playing the game, and when, a bi when Benedicta How's life treating you? Was kissing Hugo, he randomly said in English, tactical pussy. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you, Sunrise, for the three month resub. Life, life is lifing. Life could always be better. I could be rich. I could be sleeping on a pile of money. But alas, I'm here instead. <laughs> I'm going through a phase in my life right now. <coughs> Chat, maybe some of you can like um, relate to this. But I'm going through a phase where I'm reevaluating everyone in my life. You know, I've come, like, I, I'm 26 years old and I've learned the hard way that not all of my friends are actually my friends. I have a lot of friends who, you know, use me more than anything and that has been detrimental and very difficult to navigate but it's been a very important step in my journey of becoming you know step of becoming more independent and more self-sufficient losing friends and you know learning how to be on my own again has not been easy it's not been fun but i'm doing the best that i can have y'all have y'all ever gone through like a personal life cleanse have y'all done that you know when you realize like oh this friend actually isn't benefiting me and when i say benefiting this is something that we've talked about before chad if, if any of y'all have remembered um it's like I you give the friend a hundred and they don't even give you ten. They don't even give you a crumb. And then you sit there and you realize, oh, they are taking so much from me. They're taking so much from me. While they give me nothing in return. And it's fine, you know, friendships don't need to be transactional, but it does get to a point where it's like why am I why am I doing so much for you when you can't even return the favor? Oh, look, what is Charmander wearing on his head? That is Evie. Evie is wearing a bow. Thank you very much. DJ, hello! It's a periodic thing. Yeah, I go through this like every six months. Having a few friends can be hard, but the ones who remain are the real ones. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you too, Haley. Yeah. Big hugs. Big hugs dissatisfied. It sucks when you learn that. I learned that early because I had a car accident when I couldn't do for them. They disappeared. Yeah. I've been there. When I'm sick and and I can't be there for my friends, they're like, well, me, 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 me. It's like, oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> like, please. You have a nice view out your window? Thank you. Thank you. It's important to have friends that reciprocate your energy. We want friends, not energy vampires. Exactly. And I'm very patient with some people because I know and like I'm, I'm very guilty of this too. Sometimes you just can't get back to people. You just can't get back to them all the time. And that is understandable. When, 
But when they do get back to you, <coughs> what's the energy like? What is it like, you know? Does it feel even? Does it feel genuine? Are they actually busy? Or do they just not care enough about you? You know? You can help someone 10 times over, but when you actually need someone, you're on your own. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not a good feeling. I'm going through that with a lot of people right now, and it's been stinging. It's, it's stinging a ton, but I know it's going to get easier. I know that. I had a friend who kept coming up with, with ideas for music, put in zero effort, and blame me when they didn't pan out. That's so- that's rubbish, dentist. I'm sorry. I've been trying to figure out who my real friends are for decades. Yeah, it's a journey. It really is a journey. I've had friends that I've known for like 20, 20, for like 10 years absolutely vanish. Because I realized, oh, they're taking me for granted and they're taking advantage of me. Literal decades. And the people I used to know are so far removed from me now, I wonder why I even have them on Facebook sometimes. Honestly, it gets to a point where it's like, do I even need to remove this person? Like, is removing them going to do anything for me? Nah. You know? Sometimes I don't care enough to, to remove someone off of, like, Facebook. Because it's, like, Facebook. But if it's my private Instagram, or if it's my, my work Instagram, that's when I'm a little bit more like, you don't deserve to be. Same. I have very few friends, but the friends that I do have are fantastic. We're just working on working on some loose ends here. Biggest fandom Cyrus knows checking in. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. I do have a lovely nose. How are you? I started from scratch several times after calling out one person in the group's treatment of me and having everyone else sit on the fence and let them carry on. Oh, I don't like that. When people see someone misbehaving and they turn a blind eye, that also makes me very uncomfortable. Like, they'll come up with a thousand excuses for this one person, but not for you, right? That's not fair. That isn't fair at all. I have so many people on Insta from high school I don't even really know anymore, and I'm so just get rid of my account. Honestly, do what's best for you. On my private account, I literally only have people that, like, I am friends with and or, like, acquaintances with that I see enough do you know what i mean i can't handle it like having anybody else i see some people who follow like thousands of people and they know everybody and i'm like what you know like how like how 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 are you able to keep up with that many people cancer took two friends during the pandemic oh my god sunrise i'm so sorry i'm so sorry to hear that that's true, Zero. Sometimes the trash does take them, uh, will take themselves out. And honestly, good. Mm. Most of my friend group is depressed while I am too, and it's hard to navigate. That's another thing, too. When you all have different disorders, or even similar disorders, it can make things complicated. Not in a bad way, of course, but it's like, you know, you're all going through something. Which means you're all going to have like heightened needs, whether it's being distant or being very clingy or being more, you know, being more receptive or less receptive, more sensitive, less sensitive. Like it, it, it can get congested very quickly. What's hard too is when you're dealing with people who are clearly going through something but don't want to admit it. You know, that also stresses me out. I think we had this discussion in the last stream, but self-care and self-love are so important, you know? And I, you know, I don't want to be like that person who's like, if you can't love yourself, no one else can love you. But it's like, you need to be able to take care of yourself and you can't rely on other people to take care of you. Your friends will be there for you. Your friends can nudge you in the right direction and help you wherever they can. But you also have to be able to hold your own in certain, in certain circumstances. And I have had some friends where they would heavily rely on me for everything. And it's like, I'm not your mom. Like, I can't do this. I have, we have our limits too. 
<gasps> CJ, what kind of pizza do you have, babe? Those turn 26 in my heart last broke, so oh, yeah, that is a memory. Oh man. I feel like I'm still going through heartbreak right now. But things will get easier. They always do. Why are you so cute? I don't know. I don't know why I'm cute. I was born this way. I don't know what to tell you. Take it up with my mom. <laughs> it's a vegan flatbread with some herbs. Ooh. Ooh, I like. I sent this photo, but my thongs were all over the bed, so I cropped it to resend. I was wondering what the fuck you were texting me. Like, I'll get back to this later, but that is hilarious. Hold on, speaking of, let me just respond to a text really quickly. Are you gonna watch Oppenheimer or Barbie? Um. I'm gonna watch Barbie. I do wanna watch Oppenheimer, but I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna be able to sit through Oppenheimer. It's heavy and I like a good heavy movie, but I don't know if I'm in the right headspace to process that. I like a Gengar back there blessing them cheeks. He got the whole fucking Gengussi out. He got that Gengussi out and for what? Don't call me out. Hey, no one knew it was you until you said something, Ashley. <laughs> Your Barbie fit on the bird app? Hello? Thank you. I literally bought a, a pink coat just to take cute Barbie pics. And I don't even like the Barbie pics. Like, I don't think I, like, these photos are so mid. But the fucking shirt is so good. Like, the fit is so so good. Want to watch Barbie together and Barbie fits? I'm down. I'm going to see the Barbie movie on Tuesday with my mom because no one else is available. Um, so I hope she enjoys it. I gaslit you? What do you mean I gaslit you? She said mid. I did say mid. Who else saw Barbenheimer? Oh my god. Yeah. Are y'all doing the double feature? I don't think people understand how heavy Oppenheimer is theme-wise. Yeah. I went through a deep dive the other day because, like, I was trying to see if anyone has uploaded the, like, full synopsis for Oppenheimer. And I don't mean the book. I mean, like, the movie. Like, you know. Um, and then I spent, like, 20 minutes just, like, reading about Hitler. And then it made me realize, oh, I actually don't know as much about Hitler as I thought I did. And I got super uncomfortable very quickly, but I couldn't look away. It was like watching a car crash in slow-mo. Did I fix the fire? Thank you. Maybe I'll see you at the theater? Maybe. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? My local cinema isn't showing either with captions. No! And even if I travel to the city, they're only... They've only got Oppenheimer caption and only once? No, that's rubbish. I'm so sorry. I wish that we had more movies in Toronto that had CC. Um, because, like, when I go to the movies, I, I do struggle really, like, a lot. I struggle a lot with um, trying to understand what people are saying. Like, I really have to focus. I'm sorry you're still sexy Dina to me. Thank you. Like Last of Us Dina? Thanks. I think. I left a uh, comment on Instagram saying if Barbie looked like you, my mind would be blown away like Oppenheimer's test set. No, dentist! <laughs> you know... Saying respectfully doesn't make it better. It's so funny. It's like, ah ha ha, I would fuck you in the ass any day, respectfully. Like, <laughs> what? What? 
It's like when that, um, that person the other day with the fucking Asian comments. Oh my god. Not, to, yeah, like, I'm not racist, but, I, <laughs> like, what? You literally made a tweet saying they thought it was you? It is. I don't want to have this conversation. <laughs> I don't want to have this conversation. I feel like I'm going to talk to a wall again. I need CC. When I watch TV and movies, always, and when I watch a people that want them off, it kills me. I know, me too. It's like, I get that you don't need it, but I do. It's not gonna distract you. You're not even gonna notice it's on. Just please put it on for me. I'm still not racist. No one called you racist. We're making a joke about someone who was in my chat like two days ago. Don't worry. Are my c wait is my CC on or did I accidentally close it? My CC is on, right, chat? Okay, good. It is. Good, 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 good. Okay, are we ready for some fantasy of the finals? Is it finaling of the fantasy time? Are we ready? Are we gonna play some video games? I'm ready. All right, let's get this gosh darn game booted up. I'm gonna eat so I'll be lurking. I appreciate the lurk, Dante. Thank you, CJ, for the hype. Give me some more. Give me some more. Oh, my mom went to a Laura Gorge today. I'm so jealous. I want to go. I want to go to Laura Gorge. <laughs> Thank you for the hype. Fire up the moody white boy who needs a shave. No, I like his stubble. His stubble is cute. Why are you hating? I think my, my PS5 is lagging again. Let me reboot it. I want in rest mode. I want it to like actually shut off. All the men in this game are either babyface, stubble, or bull ass beard. <laughs> bull ass beard? And I'm for it. Okay, there we go. Now it's not lagging. I just want baby girls. I love me a good baby girl. You know? Let me adjust my camera. Okay, this is pretty good. Are we good, chat? Chat, is this good? I have no idea what's going on in Final Fantasy 16, but let's go. Um, well, we killed our brother, and now we're sad. Um, we are like a summoner basically, like a ranger summoner sort of, um, and our younger brother had the power of one of the icons, and we didn't realize it, but as a kid, when we were like on a quest with our dad, the king, or whatever the hell, um, we killed our brother they turned into uh they transformed into their icon and then we transformed into ours and we killed them <laughs> like i'm still trying to like remember the full narrative too like i i'm so like behind even though i'm playing let's see is there anything here phoenix gate phoenix gate that's where it was the remains of the fortress destroyed in the year 860 on what came to be known as the Night of Flames. The castle's invasion- Oh yes, it was invaded by the Sambraqua saboteurs in the battle between the two icons of fire that arose in its wake, which was our brother Joshua as the Phoenix, and then us as Ifrit. But our brother is actually still alive, and I fucking knew that. He is still alive. He didn't die, so I'm excited to see where this goes. The earth is still riddled with fissures and tears, testament to the ferocity of the fight that unfolded here. The gate itself is buried beneath piles of soot-stained rubble. 
and with it Rosaria's pride, falling as the duchy did to the empire not long afterwards. Boom. Did you buy a PS5 just for this game? Yes. So Square Enix gave me an early access code for this game. And so you better fucking believe I ran out and got the, a PS5 immediately. Hello, Khaleesi Jupiter. How are you? Okay, hold on. Is the audio okay or is it quiet? I will legit buy a PS5 for this, but until then, I'm just going to go through as many epic games as possible. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. What is this? Is this a smithy? Merchant. Anything take your fancy? Gaia Blade, it's not as good as mine. All of these uh, potions. I could go for an extra potion, but I'm sure now. I'm gonna find some. Make for Phoenix Gate, okay. Can I, like, do I have to run there or can I TP there? I'm sure I could TP there, but you know what, fuck it. Let's go on a nice stroll. Are you liking this game? I am liking this game. This game is a lot of fun. <laughs> I didn't think I would like it as much as I am, honestly. Named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants. No animals. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. The voice acting in this game is... Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Torgal, go find it. Go find what that was. Did someone drop something? Was that just a branch? Okay. Onward. Onward, babes. Onward. Bingo. I won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take well, that's not fun. And problems are all that's left. So I can only use my sword and my dog. All right. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. He's so broody. <laughs> <coughs> Cliven is almost not really, but kind of. They haven't talked about a girlfriend, literally. I still can't believe they didn't kiss. That scene killed me. I hope they get together. I ship it. I ship it so bad. There it is. Phoenix Gate. Let's go get some answers, babes. Where it all went wrong. No. Oh. Come on, Clive. It's time to discover the truth. So let me remember correctly. We're going back to Phoenix Gate to figure out like what actually happened there, right? Because there was the the hooded man who is Joshua. But like why did we see him? So many so many questions. I have so many questions. And I know this game will answer them for me. But I want the answers now. Phoenix wins. Robinson. Yes, help her down. Oh, she didn't need that help, but she took it nonetheless. It's almost as if time had stood still. <laughs> I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No, it's just as I left it. Did you press the that one? Paw print? What? <laughs> Let's have a look around. Think someone's here? 
All right, we're gonna do some exploring, I guess. Buried memories. <coughs> oh my god, sorry. <coughs> oh, I still got a lot of mucus in my throat. Could I have done this? Yes. Could anyone? <clears throat> yeah, this is this is you and your brother, bro. <laughs> This is the first Final Fantasy besides the MMO you've played. Yes, I have never played another mainstream or mainline Final Fantasy game before, so this is my very first one, which is very exciting. What is it? Where's the baby seeing? Kyle. <gasps> the masked person. That's or the him. robed person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, go. Oh my god, is it Joshua? He's the only one who can tell me what happened. Oh my god, go, 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 go. Oh I my god, go, know. go. I know, I know, I know, baby girl, I know. Let's go. Eh. 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 I don't think he's moving any faster when I do this. But I like the idea that he's like trotting around. Oh. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Damn it. He's like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine. Yeah. Uh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix is dominant can open Right, and that's, yeah. Hence the castle's name. Yeah. That's why they wanted Joshua this here, right? This was where Joshua yeah. was supposed to. Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning. And listen to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The apodotry is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Doms only no subs. Sorry. Sorry, bottoms. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. Have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Uh huh. Uh huh. Unless. Uh huh. We put in two and two to get. Oh. Do you have the power? I mean, you have the power of Ifrit. Like, oh no, you do have. He does have, like, Phoenix abilities in him, right? Yeah. So can he open this door? Oh my god, he can. Oh my god, he can. Oh my god. Are you sure about this? Nevermore. Hey, is Torgal with us? Did the dog come? Please tell me the dog is with us. This is so cool! Oh my god, this music. Oh my god, this is so pretty. This is so fucking pretty. Hello, Kenzo! How are you? I haven't, oh. I haven't played a main game since 7 and 14, I think. Oh my god, I've never played 7, but I heard great things about it. I think that may be, like, the next FF game that I play. Hello, Rogue! How are you? No, he is literally built like a Dorito. We love to see it. Why is that way so snatched? For who? Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. It should. Yes! Oh my god. God! Ooh! Ooh! What is this? Could this place really be a fallen ruin? Oh my god! I'd hardly call it a ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. This is so pretty. What are these? Have you ever seen anything like this? Torgal? 
Torgal, be careful, bestie. I don't think those statues are just statues. <laughs> oh, where are we going? Where are we going? It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna activate. Oh my god. What do we do? Ah, uh, kill them! Can I knock it off? Can I just knock it off? No. I can't. Oh, hello. Okay. Oi! Nice! Easy! Beautiful! <laughs> that wasn't that difficult. Famous last words though, right? What is that? It's like oh, oh. This one's got a fucking sword. Oh, I fucked that up so bad. Let's get the fucking node. Let's get this guy. Oi! Hey! Oh, wait, my bad. Wrong button. Wrong button. Ah, yeah, I pressed the wrong button! I forgot how to fucking play! Hello? Why can't I- Oh, it's this one. It's this one. Right. It's the other one. My bad. Uh-huh. There we go. Oh, he's dead. She got him. Beautiful. <laughs> how can any of this? This must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. Another door. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Can you heal me a little bit, boy? No, you can't? Okay. I thought I couldn't use my magic. I'm clearly able to. Is this gill? What is this? Ooh, magic to ash. Mmm, crafting materials. Do not mind if I do. Oh, there's a lot of guys in here. So like, she's a red mage, right? She's a red mage, but all her fits are just dyed blue. Like, look, look at her fucking like rapier. It's so sick. She's got the red mage glove. Like, what? Like, what is her class supposed to be? And she clearly can use magic, so. And like I feel like I'm a summoner hybrid. Like I use a sword instead of um like a grimoire. Or carbuncle. Carbuncle and grimoire. Sick. It's cool. I don't understand, but I love it. Yo, what's up? Looks like you can take a beating. Then let's give it one. Oh, we will give it one, don't worry. Hey, yo, what is that? Oh, okay. Oh, oh my god! I didn't even notice that. <clears throat> okay, ow. Ow, okay. Ow. A little help. That'll help. Oh! Oh! Slay. Did he fucking dodge that? Are you fucked in the ass? What is this? Okay, get out of that, get out of that! Oh, okay, and get in here. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
I fucking miss? Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 how did that not go off? Are you kidding? Ooh, what is she using? Okay, Miss Man. Uh, mmm. Bruh, I moved. I moved out the way, too. This guy just lives his life, mate! <laughs> Jesus, my HP. This is not looking so hot for me. Oh my god, he's so low. He's so low. He's so low. Did you get him? Nice. Any of this makes sense to you? None. Let's find a hooded man and leave. Working on it, working on it, working on it. Alright, do we go this way? Yeah. The combat in this game is honestly so satisfying. Every time I stop playing, it takes me a second to like get back to where I was. Like the muscle memory has to kick in. Um, but once it does, I'm chilling, you know? When you get a house, will you go all out with your Halloween decorations? Yeah, if I have someone to help me put them up and also take them down. gonna explode or am I gonna be able to fight them? I will be able to fight them. We're chilling, we're chilling, we're all good, we're all good. I fucked that up so bad, but we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, okay, okay. I'm making progress. Still been lurking, but about to not be in it. Joshua and in, in my bed. Have too. a great rest of the day. I hope you feel better. Thank you, presently here. Good night. At least not that I ever heard about. I oh, appreciate you lurking, guys. The Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. Put a little lights on the ground. Ooh. Oh, are we going down? We're going up. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? And who will Surrounded end up with us? Contraptions hell -bent on murder yeah. <laughs> Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we follow it all the way to the end. Twelve hundred gil, bro. I'm rich. I am rich. Hello, Tati Katana. I hate those bomb things. So annoying. Yeah. Can you like not explode in my face? You know what I mean? Oh, another guardian. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a god. I'm so sexy. I'm actually so hot. Oh god, fuck shit. I feel like 
I should just focus on the Guardian and let her take care of um, the other guys. Ooh, okay, got him out of that. Ah, oh, fuck my ass. Oh, did I not get anyone in that? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead as shit. I'm dead as shit. Yo, what's up, Bucky? Nice. Okay. Okay. Slow this guy up. Amazing! Slay! Incredible! Good job, Clive! You killed it! Alright, let's move forward. No more items. Next room! Next challenge! <laughs> Eli! 11 months, and what a fun way to spend it. Eli, thank you for the 11 month reset! I appreciate it! Thank you! What a fun way to spend it indeed. Okay, hold on. We're gonna alter the audio here. Okay, I think this might be good. Chat very quickly. I want you to tell me how clear the audio is. Let me know if it's louder than me or not. Let me know if I need to make any changes, please, and thank you. I just tinkered with it a little bit, and it should be okay. It should be fine, in theory. It's good. Okay. Let me know if any of this combat is going to be louder than me, all right? Loudly if I don't like it, thank you. No name, thank you for two months three stuff, I appreciate it. Fun. This is also the first fantasy, Final Fantasy mainland game I've played too. Hey, hey, look at us being newbies, being newbies to Final Fantasy. <laughs> mm. Okay, so audio is good, audio is clear, everything is fine and dandy. Perfect. Perfecto. One second, I'm just checking something. I am. My PC. Okay. Perfect. Cutscene? Oh, do we make it? Okay, I guess we can't leave now. Let's not leave that way. Oh, another platform. I don't like this. What is this? 
What is this? <coughs> Boss fight, baby. Let's fucking go. <coughs> All right. Iron giant. Oh, oh, okay. Ooh, I went the wrong way. Don't let them get away. I'm so glad my HP is so low. This time. that properly. I'm so sorry, Clive, bestie. Giants a lot more uh, a lot more chill than this. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> it's done. What are these creatures? And why do they keep attacking us? A 
probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. Mm -hmm. They're just protecting their home. Mm, that's fair, that's valid. Gasp, gasp. Jill, look. Some kind of mural. It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. <coughs> that looks sick. It was giving me Garuda vibes, but I'm assuming that's like a Phoenix mural, maybe? I don't know what that is, but that's cool. Alright. Okay, we're getting some potions. We're getting some potions back. Yeah, uh-huh. That's, that's making me nervous. <laughs> Do we have an actual boss fight? Like, that was not the boss fight, right? There's gonna be more, huh? I'm fucking ready. Okay, which way do we go? I guess like either way, right? We just have to go down. It's a big circular room. Okay. I'm excited. I'm hungry. How are you, Stinky? I'm good. I'm surprisingly not hungry. Can you believe that? No, but I'm good. I'm having a ton of fun getting back into the story for this game. I'm glad I left off where I did because this is nuts. Ooh. Okay, okay. Is the platform gonna light up too and take us somewhere? It's got the same markings. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Let's get to the bottom of this. God, this is a big ass place. Okay, there's another item here. Let's grab that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's a potion. Mm, yummy. Okay, where where am I supposed to? Where was I supposed to? Do I go straight down here? No. No, I definitely don't. This is a, oh yeah, I definitely don't. Okay, so oh, I guess I do have to go through here and go through one of those doors. Those doors. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, because I came from that way. Right. Okay. Oh my god. Hey Stormer, what's up? Hello. Oh Look my out. god. I leveled up. 
So these guys have the same, like, teleporting ability that, um, that the Lich has. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's touch the stone. Where's this going? Is this like an access point? Ooh, oh. What have we here? We unlock Under the door. The fallen wonder. Okay, let's go, let's go. We're getting deeper, we're getting deeper. But now how the hell are we gonna get out of this place? We can't go back up! Okay, who's gonna spawn here? Who are we fighting here? Mm, no one? Uh, okay. Hmm, a little suspicious. Okay, we're gonna go through this door then, see where this leads us. Combat in this game is so fucking fluid! It's so good! Okay, let's open this up. Opening another door. Let's see which Lights. one? Over there. Well, Over that there. did something. This is really fucking cool. This is really, really cool. Is someone gonna spawn here? It's another one of these. Different though. We activated it. Now it's got. Oh, it's bringing up. Oh, we're back to where we just were. This is where I thought we were gonna be able to go, and I was like, no, we're not. Oh, that platform that was down there just got brought up to us. Oh, is this the final door? So, it isn't a dead end after all. Apparently not. I'm scared. Well, and I'm gonna put on my sweater. I was feeling a bit warmer earlier, but now I'm getting the chills. So many doors. Oh no. Life has so many doors we choose to open or close. Man, chat, you're getting deep. You're getting deep with this. Hey, Grits, hello. This place is immense. Absolutely. Hold on, chat. What is this? What is going on here? Okay. Okay, so we've made it. I wanna look up, I wanna look up at it. <coughs> is that supposed to be the Phoenix then? The apothecary? All seems to lead to this room. Yeah. And look what's in it. This mural. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? Must I don't be. know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Must be. The echo! <laughs> yeah, look at Torgal. <laughs> you, you, you're him. The second dominant of fire. <laughs> Who are you? It's Joshua. Hi. 
What? Wait! Am I back at Phoenix Gate? Did they take me back? Oh my god, they did. I... I'm back. <coughs> oh shit. Oh, I have to relive this again?! Joshua! Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. I feared that by accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do so that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. Boogers in me. I can't. <coughs> I can't keep crying. Me. What's going on? No matter how bitter the truth that awaits me, I will press on. Yes, King. Come, Ifrit. Show me who you truly are.
I fucking I moved, bro. Off guard. The second stage is me. What in the dark night is this?
Escaping. It's all right. I'm done running from you. Together, that we love therapy here. It's time to find out who we are once and for all. I can live it, break! I can LB! No! Let's fucking go! <laughs> oh, so sick! Show yourself, you freak. Alright, now it's even, huh? <laughs> Hold on.
reminded me so much of like of like the Dark Knight stuff in Final Fantasy fourteen. I am like over the moon and like oh, man. Oh, we love therapy. I love therapy in video games. He's accepting his past. He's forgiving younger like younger him. Becoming one with him instead of running away. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Accepting him for who he is. Oh, no. Beautiful. Amazing. Oh, fucking amazing. I am emotional. I am emotional. I will say. It's not your world that's on it. Are you all right? No! Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. No more chasing shadows. I love that song. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and we're out just like that? Okay, I guess it was easier <laughs> than I thought. Take some rubble back with me. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. <laughs> Get I it. awakened as a dominant Literally. of fire, <laughs> right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. Mm. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed. <coughs> but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. I want to learn the truth too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. We? I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never want to hide from the truth. Even when we were young, you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. Brought us back together. Thank you, 
you. I love them. He's watching us. <gasps> Joshua? If he's here, then. The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded. The hour is later than I thought. Oh, what does that mean? <coughs> oh my god, my throat. <coughs> Where is this? Castle Dasbog. Oh, is this the Titan Man? The Titan Dommy? Dommy Titan? Titan Dom? Oh my god. Bring him Benedictus the head man in the who, box. Delivered, who, who delivered the coffer said he said Sid paid him. I let you run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me. Find out where he is. Crush him! Flay him! Rip out his heart! Him and all his filthy brood! And send every last one of them to me. Out. No! Yes! Yes, my lord! Show us what's in the box! What's in the box? Is it her head? I swear to God, is it her head? It's gotta be. <sighs> oh my God, I'm so tense. I want to see. Benedicto. It is! Ah! Oh my god! Oh man, oh man. Oh, that's fucked. The meaning of life, wow. Oh my god, that's so fucked. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, that boss battle was fucking amazing. Honestly, the boss fights in this game, incredible. Incredible. Every single one has had me on my toes, has had me yelling and cheering. They're incredible. I love the cinematic, like, um, combat or cinematic, what do they call them? Cinematic strikes or whatever, like, in the middle of the fights. I think those are so cool. And... I don't know. It makes me feel like I'm doing cool shit. <laughs> I had to connect with my inner child in therapy recently, so this is hitting me pretty hard right now. Yeah, dentist, I've been talking to to um younger Syra a ton, and it's very difficult. Talk like con communicating with your younger self is not an easy task to do in therapy, and so whenever I see those themes you know where you have to speak to your younger self or speak to like a past version of yourself and forgive yourself it always gets to me it always gets me i love that shit hello lofty cube hello hello santa welcome to the chat hugo looks at the kid from bully all grown up <laughs> oh my god so sid just cut off her head after all um i mean Someone did. I don't think it was Sid. I think someone is framing Sid, honestly. Okay, give me one second, chat. My um my boogies are pretty bad right now. So um I'm gonna go and like clear my throat and then we'll get back to the game. Right back.
my god, chat. I tried to get all the boogers out and like do you ever just feel like a really <laughs> Do you ever just feel <coughs> like an like an old man on the side of the street just spitting? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like sometimes when I'm trying to declog myself, you know, that's a terrible sentence. But when I'm trying to declog, I just like, I get all like, blah, you know? Oh, I feel so gross. I feel so nasty. Oh my god. Anyway. Okay. Let's get back to this game now. <laughs> okay. Ifrit Awoken. Apply the skin control of the icon Ifrit, allowing access to new iconic abilities. Yes. And we unlock the limit break gauge. Woo! Declog. Listen, don't judge me for my choice of words, okay? Just getting all the mucus out of the chip. Throat, I get it. Yeah, and it's like nasty though. The limit break gauge is located beneath Clive's HP bar. Release Clive's inner beast and semi-prime into Ifrit by pressing L3 and R3. Sick. Gauge fills the metal both for taking damage as well as successfully performing offensive defensive maneuvers. Grants increased attack potency and speed, gradual HP regeneration, and, guarding break and guard breaking strikes. Cool. So, what next? The we return to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. Mm -hmm. Alright, we should arrange an introduction then. I have a bad feeling about us returning to, um... Returning to Eastpool. I don't know why. I feel like something bad is gonna happen. Like people died. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so used to games- Why is Troco growling? Why is he mad, your puppy? Torgo, what is it? What did, what's going I on? I'll wager. Come on. What did I say? What did I say? Something is afoot. Oh my god. Go follow the puppy. Go follow the puppy. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, something's wrong. Something's not right here. I don't like what I'm seeing. I'm seeing fire. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What happened here? What did I fucking Curious. say, chat? What did I say? We've got a live one. Fuck you, shut up. Remember our orders? No survivors. Who would order such a thing? Yeah. Oh, it's a good thing I uh, I have my inner beast now. Okay, I missed all of that. We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> oh, I missed that. My bad, my bad, my bad. I overestimated the space between us. That's enough. Oh, I did not mean to use that. Over here. <laughs> Thank you, Torgo. Thank you. Queen! Nice. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, oh, it's a literal fucking massacre. I'm scared. I hope there's at least some survivors. If that dude, if the old man with dementia Thought is gone, I'm, I'm gonna be pissed. You branded? Oh. You were born a slave, and you'll die one! My alerts are muted, Zentus! I'm glad to get that up to that Cyrus the Clogging. You're welcome, bestie. Enjoy your sleep, and thank you for the 100 biddies, Zentus. Appreciate you. Get him, boy! Kill all the Ducal Dogs! Ducal Dogs? They were innocent people! <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Got 
Damn. It doesn't last that long, but it's still sick. I like it. What's up, bitch? Keep your distance, boy. I love that Clive, like, like obviously like we're commanding Torgal to help, but he's also like making sure that Torgal is okay, like keep your distance, like yes, protect your dog, you know what I mean? Protect your boy. He's an asset to the team, but also make sure he doesn't cheat on that baby. Give them all you've got, boy. I do love Get being him, able boy. to like fight with our dog. I think that's like the cutest thing, and I want more games to incorporate dog companions. Like honestly, you got a puppy? Yeah, we have a puppy. You got a big boy. What the fuck is this? All must burn. The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command. Yeah, I forgot that she was a fucking snake. That's what that does, all right. Amazing. Fucking amazing. <gasps> Vinny! Hi, Vinny! How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Vinny, do you play Final Fantasy? Like, I know I know you don't play Final Fantasy fourteen, but, like, have you played any of the other Final Fantasy games? This game is so fucking good. Let me tell you, I am having an absolute blast. How are you, Vinny? At this point, I would not be referring to her as my mom. <laughs> That's fair. But I feel like referring to her as mom, like, makes a hit harder. 24 hour stream I heard? Honestly, I would. I would if I could. I'm sorry, Lady oh Anna. Oh my god. You I'm deserve so much better. All of these people did. Oh, this is so sad. Better than my mother. 
I knew something was gonna happen. I fucking knew it. More Imperials? <coughs> Where's the Sid? Oh, too late! Yeah. <coughs> Clive! Oh, man. Hi, CJ! Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here. But someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Why? Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. Well, we'd best be quick. Us. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi. Can we, like, cremate them? What are we going to do with their bodies? Can I leave you a lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. <laughs> oh, Jill. That's why she wanted them dead. Look, she's optimistic, okay? Like, she just doesn't... Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kutka's message for your leader. Who if in the fucking five head is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Suspicious character? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Well, we're going back to the hideaway. Oh man. Oh, the plot. Like Thives' ass thickens. Oh, no. To sit solo then. They swear in this one stick. Yeah, they do. A little, a little bit foul here. The Final Fantasy 16 Clive says fuck a lot, as he should. We are be montaging every time Clive says fuck. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. Here. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Didn't sound happy. For a second, I thought it was another dog. I was like, Otto, who's Otto? And what do you want? Let's see what words do you have. Weighing you down. You've got nothing of use to me. So let's see what I can sell. I have got nothing to sell to you. I mean, like, am I actually gonna use these? What do oh I have God. on me right now? Let me see. Items. No. Gear. Gear. I've got the Cleric Medallion, which increases healing potency of potions by 20%. Badge of Might, which increases my attack by 7 and increases. And then this, the favor of fire, which increases Scarlet Cyclone damage by 8%. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, I should check out my abilities, huh? Yeah, because we got Ifrit now, yeah? Okay. What is this? Use the limit break. What does the upgrade do? Adds a second limit break gauge, adds a third. I thought I already had a second. I was just gonna add like, oh no wait, oh no wait. So, wait, yeah, I already have one. Why is it, it's gonna add another? Eh, eh, whatever. Will of the Wikes, 
Summon a storm of fireballs that circle around Clive, damaging nearby targets while also absorbing damage. Wait, that's sick! Increases fireball counts. If I upgrade it, it allows Simon to any icon. Ooh. Ignition. Oh, yeah. Attack while charging, inflicting multiple hits and forcing the enemy back. Can be used mid-air. Give me that. Okay, what does the upgrade do? Widens area of effect increases potency. Bitch. Okay. Let's see what else was there. Let's see. There's like the Phoenix stuff. <coughs> Do I want to upgrade these? I mean, I can. I do use them a lot. Um, summon a fiery wing that deals damage. Okay, so what's the upgrade? Increase hits. Increase hits. So these both just increase hits. Um. Hmm, hmm, I think I will. I will upgrade this one. Fucking look at this too. Whatever. Okay. I'm not gonna use. Should I use more of my. Yeah, I should probably boost some of these. Let's see. What's this one? That one. And this also just increased hits. This also just. In oh, increased follow up strike speed. Okay. We'll go with that one. Fuck it. Alright, I'm gonna leave it at that now. I'm not much bothered either way. Okay. And this is the smithy here, so let's see what we can. <gasps> Move on. Blair, careful you don't set that breath to like Koopo. <laughs> I want a Moogle. I wish Moogles are real. Whoa. I mean, I guess like my dog kind of counts. He's kind of Moogle looking. The name suspicious character gives us all the context we need. I'm putting that on my, like what, if I have a child, I'm going to name them suspicious character. Like I will change their last name legally. So it's just character and their name will be suspicious. Call them sus. Yeah, she be sorry for all the skinny like no ass lads in 14 here. Gap, Clive, Sid, and Hugo who all have legs like tree trunks. It's what we deserve. What it's want? honestly what we deserve. The bastard sword. None of these are as good as what I have on, so let's see if we can reinforce my stuff. Um, no, uh, we can't. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay. Anything else? <laughs> Alright, so let's go uh, let's go find Sid then. We got a side quest over there. Oh yeah, I should probably be running some of the side quests now. This one is locked though because of the MSQ progression or something like that, right? Yeah. Currently restricted. Oh, this is auto. I You're heard you auto. lost someone in East Pool. I'm also sorry. a lot of people in East Pool, if not just someone. Need, just say the word. But yeah, Lady Hannah. Oh, thank you, Otto. Did I get any new orchestrian rooms? I think I still just have like the two or whatever, right? Yeah, hide, hide away, and where the heart is. This song is very pr oh wait. Is there a new one down there? The sound of silence. Oh, it's literally <laughs> It's literally silence. <laughs> I should have uh I should have assumed. It's literally just silence. I should have assumed so. I like the one that's playing right now, though. It's very pretty. I appreciate the option, too. I like it, too. In a lot of games that I play, sometimes I will crank the background music down, depending on, like, what the game is. So I like that there's an option just for, like, ambiance. We can keep running. Or we can walk through this door. Through the door, baby. This place is getting more crowded by the day. <coughs> I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet <coughs> contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse. Or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. He took that. the BDSM test, y'all. <laughs> it is a burden I must bear. He got his results and he's day. a dommy daddy. What can we say? Spoken true. 
can't believe we thought he was a sub. And in turn, salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. <coughs> and I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. I love him. So, atonement then, is it? <gasps> that was the answer we found. Oh, the only one we oh, 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 them, them, they! Expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into yeah, now? What is this plan of you? The best kind. Oh no. We're going to sneak into the Imperial Capital. Bro! And pay a visit. Mother. Hey, yo, we're gonna go see mommy, eh? Oh, <laughs> he's a power bottom, easy mistake to make. <laughs> or a flam. Or a flam. Wait, I fuck with the music though. And the last of our farm holds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, it's giving us guard to build the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but bore and bluster. Your radiance. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Is that an Elpis flower? Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders <coughs> we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see this our people? This music is so good! Ah! I really do think that... Uh, yeah. well, I, 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 <laughs> The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds was to riddles such as Was he sniffing it like it these, was a coke flower? Like it's cocaine? Like lock horns with an enemy from across He's the like sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their ladder after? Fuck. The Empire bleeds. And you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. <laughs> Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Mm. Your radiance. You cannot mean a war of conquest. Mm -mm. Oh, but I can. That is exactly what I mean. Close enough. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. 
Colonizers. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the thirds? Well, someone will have to contend with the Delmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send Beyond? word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his <coughs> wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again. Yeah, soon. yeah. Oh my God. As you command. So fucking crazy. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the mother crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But the mother crystals? Where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer <laughs> by drawing ambient ether from the air. Where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. <coughs> Although admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. Mm. As to where it's all going, mind. Well. I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. Heidelin! <laughs> for centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? themselves so now you want to do something about the crystals and what we're not helping bearers and dominance anymore I didn't say that I made a promise and I intend to keep it but if we continue down this path there's only one fate that awaits the realm and we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Pretty boys. I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. Oh, I love. Oh, I love. <laughs> you could have just said I. <laughs> but it's nice to have the dramatic. <laughs> into I'm going to
to need more than a few potions for this. <laughs> Absolutely. Hi, Sarah, you've been popping up in my recommend recently, so I want to check out the stream. Hello, Trix! Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. I am a Final Fantasy 14 streamer. I have been taking a break from it, though, to play Final Fantasy 16, and it is a fucking blast. Get comfy. Get cozy. We're in for another couple hours of MSQ shenanigans. Let me catch up with chat now that the cutscenes have finally ended. I haven't played one since 7. I've heard great things about this one, though. Yeah, Vinny, if you're still in here, this game is great. So my my like quarrel with final fantasy is like i'm not into like steampunk stuff and i know a lot of like final fantasy shit is like, like combo like it's kind of steampunky and like a little bit modern this is very it it caters towards like the more like high fantasy stuff which i love i'm having it like the time of my life this is this game is so good this game is amazing um and I'm really grateful that Square Enix gifted it to me. I'm having so much fun. The story is actually, like, it's very gripping. It's compelling. The characters are very likable. Like, you immediately feel for them from the get-go. The acting is so good. The ambiance. Everything. Amazing. So good. So, so, so good. Um, yeah, Ashley. So, each Final Fantasy game will have, like, some of the same, like, re like recurring characters but they're all like different universes so there are like multiple variations of sid in different games so there's the final fantasy 14 version there's the final fantasy 16 version and then versions of him in like these other like ff games because the ff games like yeah there are 16 but they don't all follow each other they're all standalone narratives which is like kind of neat what is happening with my, my camera A dominant AO3 lied to me. I thought Clive was a needy bottom with a praise kink. Ooh, that's just like me. <laughs> it's just like that city in uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, um, Osgilia? I was kind of thinking that too. Um, but actually what it reminded me of was, um, uh, from, from Dragon Age. It reminded me of, what's that French place called again? Oh fuck. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. Dragon Age French place. Not to Vinter. No no no. It's um Orle. It reminded me of Orle. Little bit of hello! Just got back from Barbie. I'm a changed woman. My life has purpose again. I cannot wait to see the Barbie movie. I'm seeing it on Tuesday. And I am so impatient. I'm so, so, so impatient. <sighs> I don't have an outfit for it, though. Maybe, I mean, like, maybe I could wear, like, my fluffy, like, blazer that I bought the other day. I don't know. Like, like, but do I want to dress up? Are y'all dressing up for the Barbie movie? I've been on a break for other games. Oh man, I, I miss playing Final Fantasy fourteen. I really do, but it has been nice to take a break from it. I am still in the beginning of Endwalker. I'm only on like the level 82 or 83 quest. So eventually I will be getting back to that and I'm nervous. I think what I'll do is like I'll finish this game, I'll start Tears of the Kingdom, and then we'll get back into FF14. I have a long list of games to play. You'd probably like um, FF9, it's very fantasy like this but less dark. Oh, but I want more dark, but I guess I'll, I'll try to 9 and 10 then. The games are connected in spirit, so to speak. I guess you could say an ether. No, that's not even. That's not. That's terrible. I went through all of Shadowbringers while you were at where you are in Endwalker. I know you like bum rushed the whole game, Larry. Oh, what a ride you have left. Hopefully, I'll get to see your reaction. I mean, hopefully, if you stick around, right? I hope you do. I would love to. I would love to. Um. To have all of y'all be there for more of my Endwalker shenanigans. My when I started the Endwalker um 
expansion. We had like I think 500 or something viewers that night, and I'm like, I'm so like, ah, like. Oh, I'm gonna have to advertise it again, being like, we're getting back into Endwalker. Blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm ready. I'm fucking ready. I have a whole cottagecore Barbie fit I wasn't able to wear to the event I'm supposed to go to for Barbie yesterday, so Def wearing it when I go watch it. Hell yeah. I was invited to go that, to that event, but then they were like, oh, psych, we're actually doing it in another city, and I'm like, cool, I can't go to that. Like, great. So instead, I just shot it at home. And I didn't like my, my photos, but we ball. The outfit was cute, though. I mean, this is what I would have worn. I have the um, the Barbie scarf, and then I got this like purple blazer that has a bunch of feathers on it, and a bodysuit that has like one strap, and it was like super cute. It was very like like Cher Horowitz kind of, you know. My head is kind of hurting, chat. Like, adjust my headset for a little bit. Uh, Final Fantasy 1 and 5 are pretty much just straight up high fantasy. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick breather, and I? As long as it's not like I heard Otto barking in his lawn. Side pistol. Never this late. Where are you, Randall? Randall. Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. <coughs> I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. You know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is. <laughs> Our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait. You were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? No, oh, so you didn't try getting me the help. Then might I ask a favor of you? I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? I'll do what I can. I'll do what I can. I'll collect the side quest. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. This background music makes thank collecting side quests feel so delicate and and sweet nature, you know? I don't know what it is, but I love it. Look at the chocobo! Look at them! I want one. Is it out of bounds? Ooh, okay. I was gonna Uber with Brandy and my boyfriend was gonna pick the Ubers there and back. Oh. Wait, so why'd you end up not going? Was it because you were sick? Oh, you're still too sick, yeah. I'm shocked you haven't started Tears of the Kingdom. I'm shocked too. I will. Because I wasn't Clive. really like screaming. I trust you're settling in. Um, Gradually getting used to the place. It was, ugh, I'm I have glad my to own hear like, hiccups for why I didn't I was like, hoping it. you might be persuaded to come I to my aid once more. I want to play it so more. bad. I love Zelda your services so much. Will be rewarded, of and I also want to play Skyward it. Sword. I used to Seems love to that game when I was like much, much, much we younger. We strive to be better and I have than it those on the we once served. So that's now, another game we're going to toss up on stream one of these I days. I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. Are there Chocobo in all Final Fantasy I have three games? meals yeah. for three industrious souls. I believe what so. say you? I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves. I wish I knew side quests were like important and which ones weren't because i know a lot of people have said like um <laughs> have said that like you should pay attention to certain oh, ones well. and Good some day. of them aren't that important and Talk yada 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 some meet. give you more lore some like flesh out the the world more and stuff like that but like i don't want to pay attention to all of them 
I also wouldn't mind doing that. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll have a stream where I'm just doing side quests, kind of like what I would do with um, Final Fantasy XIV. Talk about. Ooh, something smells good. For me, I hope. Yeah, got it is. Some food. Courtesy of Kenneth. Ew. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> is it chocobo or chocobo? They must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. <laughs> and who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Mm. Anyway, thanks for the food, <laughs> and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. Nice, that was an easy side quest. Oh, deliver a meal to a resident in the bunks. Okay, so no, there, there's more. Oh, okay. I mean, we may as well, like, wrap up the ones that I just picked up, Do you up, need right? any help, uh, Miss Molly? Can I access this somewhere? No, I have to go. Did the 7 remake have them? Oh, I cool. Chocobos existed in 7 remake, yeah. Were they not in the original one? Question mark? Is that why you're asking? When you go to the next area, I highly recommend doing the side quest right away. Got it. Thank you. Like right away, right away? Alright. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a Aww. hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. Aww. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm up nothing, that's what. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. Oh no. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Am I gonna Maybe go find it? Maybe if you retrace it? your steps. Scour storm from coast to no. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna Fine. go search for his missing items. Okay. Okay. If you could, if it's the, I alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. You're welcome, bestie. I'm sure he doesn't. Mail delivery, I think, is just game design to get you to meet and care about people. I like it though. I yeah, like so bringing last people very long food. Out the elements. <laughs> I should make. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Can I help you? Kenneth sent me. Here you go. I've got some food for you. <clears throat> ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? And speaking Is he of the sick? Fruit, we all thought it was this pronunciation uh, until they voiced I'm afraid so. and that pronunciation There's no longer in need accent. of a physical Wait, immediate so what administrations is it? Is it are sent here for further chocobo? rest. I like chocobo I tend better. to those who cannot tend to them. I would be lost without. I, I like saying chocobo. Come. There's a lurk. Thank you for the lurking tricks. I appreciate. It. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, let's choke them both. Like to send a message. So soon, can I send me more food for you, babes? You, oh, I could go for some fucking keep food. yourself on the right. What should I eat tonight, chat? I think that's everyone. I'm but doing like my best now. to no longer use for eat. I'm trying really, really hard to start like saving my shmoney. Um, and it's killing me because I want Popeye so bad. But I can't do it. I cannot. Do you need any help, uh, Miss Molly? Ah, you're back. All done. Wonderful. I think they're both Canada, Here. depending on accent. Your okay, reward, that's fair. As promised. That's fair. The hideaway is quite something. A fact we are proud. You have your place. It's kind of you. It is the truth, and not a soul among Ooh. us would deny it. Oh no, I'm sleepy. I look sleepy. forward to all that you will bring to our little oh, no. community. Oh no, I'm tired. You know. Today was the first day in like a hot minute that I took a proper nap. I napped from like five ish to um to seven. I was hoping that I wouldn't nap like that long and I'd be able to, you know, go live at six. But I oh, man, I needed that. I needed that so bad. 
But I got UC and it's using masses of my stomach so that what's UC? Clive, was it? Who said that to me? Who who said that to me? Who are you? Is it you? It's nice to oh. see the hideaway oh, finally coming alive. It wasn't so long ago or so. Just talk to me. Oh, okay, so I was gonna ask if you meant like a stomach ulcer. Okay, yeah. Man, that fucking blows. I cannot imagine not having some of my like gross comfort food. I need them in my life. I need my Popeyes. I need my McDonald's. I know it's so bad, but like my body just craves it. Okay, chat. I want to keep playing. I really do, but I can feel the sleep like getting to me. I can feel the second I get tired, everything goes downhill. So I think this is where we call it. And honestly, I feel like this is like a pretty good like stopping point. I think we're doing like pretty good in terms of pacing. I mean, I, I am moving at a snail's pace, but you know, every every part that I stop at has been like, you know, monumental in some degree. So we'll continue if not tomorrow we will continue on wednesday unfortunately i am busy on monday um there is a chance that i might like change my mind and stream tomorrow even though tomorrow's i'm taking the day off um but yeah we'll be back to wtf the monday or the wednesday thursday friday streams next week i think let me do a double check actually i might be wrong we might only be streaming twice next week Let's see i have plans monday Actually, I might be able to stream very late on Monday. We'll see how that goes. Um, Wednesday, we're good. Thursday, we're good. Friday, Devin arrives and we're going out. Um, so I might stream Saturday then. We might do very late or very early on Monday. Actually, yeah, let's do early on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Beauty. Easy. McDonald's ruined for me in Japan. I will not eat it anywhere else but Japan. Oh, it's that good, eh? Oh, man. I, for me, it's just like, I just want the nasty cheap burgers. I just need that filth in my stomach. Oh, okay. Okay, y'all. That's it. That's it for me. I will see you all next week, if not tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out. I had a bunch of fun. I'm really, really, really enjoying Final Fantasy 16. And I'm sorry that the streams have been slow and super sporadic, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're slowly, slowly, slowly coming back. All right, let's go say hi to... Who are we going to say hi to? Who's live right now? Who's live? Let's go say hello to Danielle. Oh my god, her stream looks amazing. Let's go say hi to her. She's a very good friend of mine, and she is just chatting. She's just vibing tonight, so let's send her some good vibes. Bye, friends. I'll see you later. Bye. Don't forget to join the Discord server and follow me as well. Me and I'll be able to update with all my shenanigans.